watching Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. We welcome you back as we now take you to the volleyball court. Whitehall boys team looking to keep up their winning ways now with just one loss on their season. Yeah, that lone loss coming to Easton back on April 12th. Ironically, their opponent last night, the K-Kids of Northampton, coming off a sweep of those Red Rovers. Erica Rose has the recap. The Whitehall volleyball team may only have one senior on their roster, but that has not been a factor as the Zephyrs enter Monday night's match at 7-1 in the EPC. Going up against Northampton and the K-Kids on a roll, having won three straight. They will trail early in this one, however, down 14-7 after the ace by Ricky Miloski. They will trail by as many as nine in the first set due to a strong start by the Zephyrs, and they will hold on for the victory. That's Miloski again, who will end at 25-20 Whitehall. The second set, not so pretty. Northampton will lead for most of it. The Zephyrs can tie it seven times, but unable to take the lead early on due to errors. They will have seven service errors in the set and it is not until this point which makes it 15 14 that Whitehall jumps on top after the nice volley that's part of a 5-2 run by the Zephyrs who will not trail again 25 19 the final of the second set the Zephyrs looking for the sweep but the K kids not going down without a fight Brandon Caffrey having quite a night here he is bringing the K kids within two at 17 15 but Whitehall can later open things up leading 22 15 thinking this game is a wrap they get a little sloppy allowing the K kids to go on a 7 to 2 run to bring it within one at 24 23 but despite the errors, Whitehall can pull out the 25-23 victory thanks to Dylan McGinley. It's certainly something the team will be focusing on. We talk to him a lot about, you know, if you're not, if you don't have your A game, you know, you got to do something. So, you know, like Dylan McGinley, for example, in the middle wasn't his best uh, game today, but found a way, you know, to put the ball down. And that was important, especially at the last, you know, the last set there. When you have 34 unforced errors, that, that's something that we have to work on and clean up. You know, when we get later in the season, you can't do that against against the really, really good teams in this league. So, you know, that's we're going to go back and work on that. Complacent is not a word that the Whitehall volleyball team likes, but it's one they seem to use, especially for that final set, as they nearly let the K-Kids come back and force a fourth one. You know, we were doing really good in the end and got kind of complacent, uh, let them come back a little and you know, we had to go then. I hate that that word, but we use it a lot with these guys. It's just so complacent sometimes, and uh, we got to get better at that. Just you know, when you got somebody on the ropes, you got You got to end it, and you know that's something that we have to learn to do. And these guys are very capable of doing that. Uh, you know, that's going to be the stressor, I guess you would say, in the next couple of weeks. You know, when we get to the postseason. Covering EPC volleyball, I'm Erica Rose to sports. All right, thanks, Erica. So up next for the Zephyrs, Freedom, and then a tall task against Emmaus. But that's a good Northampton team in there, taking them to the wire in all three sets. That seems to be a trend for them this season yes. for sure. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit, going 